Very good Saturday evening. Thanks for clicking on the Vogan's European Outlook. Uh, over the next 24 hours, we've got uh, more wind, more rain, and a particularly uh, noteworthy feature, in fact, pushing across the southern portion of England uh, through later tomorrow and into uh, the early hours of Monday morning. Uh, what we've got is a, a, a feature that will uh, tighten and deepen and uh, bring a spell of particularly heavy rain and strong winds uh, along the south coast uh, and also up into uh, up into the Bristol Channel. We could be talking about the uh, wind gusts, in fact, along the coast uh, in excess of 70 miles an hour. But over the open channel, uh, we could be uh, talking winds in excess of 80 miles an hour, which, of course, could cause problems to, to shipping um, and also ferry services between the continent and the UK. So as we skip through here, this is off the ECMWF, and uh, you can see here that we've got um, that feature coming through. It runs along the south coast and uh, clears out, but uh, like I say, the winds could be uh, problematic uh, across this portion of the UK uh, during the second half of this weekend. Uh, even today wasn't... Um, wasn't void of uh, wind and rain across many places and it looks like we're going to continue to see that in the case uh, not just the coast but into uh, in the British Isles but right across the UK over the next 24 to 48 hours but uh, if you notice here as we skip um, to the wider view what is going to be interesting folks is the fact that we're going to see uh, not only more wind and rain, but also a big seesaw in temperature. Uh, we're going to go from a, a moderately cool second half to the weekend uh, and see the temperatures rise to uh, pretty unusual levels for the second half of November, in fact, across the UK. And we get help from the tropics. That is what's going to bring uh, some very, very warm weather, not just the England and Wales uh, but also up into Scotland, we could see temperatures in excess of 15, even 16 degrees. The reason for that is if you look uh, to the southwest of Iberia here off this chart, we've got uh, the remnants of Tropical Storm Theta. That is going to get lifted north. What, what's going to essentially happen is we're going to start to see the trough uh, dig southwards uh, over the Atlantic, and this is going to pick Theta up. And uh, and basically drag it up and over the UK, uh, and with its um, higher humidity and and heat, that will significantly raise the temperature through the lowest five thousand feet of uh, of the UK atmosphere. So let's skip through. You can see what's uh, going to take place here. We've got a feature that's coming off North America. We've got, of course, the system that's over the British Isles uh, at uh, during the course of tomorrow. But it's in fact that system coming off North America that deepens the trough over the Atlantic and essentially picks Theta up and pulls it northeastwards over the UK. And that is going to uh, bring that surge of uh, significant warmth. But once that feature pushes through, it's going to bring a very, very sudden shift in, in uh, not only wind direction, but also temperature because what's going to happen is that feature lifts uh, northeastwards. We've got high pressure that builds over Iceland. And with low pressure over Norway, high pressure over Iceland, we're going to, of course, drag in air from the Arctic. And this will be the first uh, push of, uh, of truly cold air into the UK. So much so that we could see snow not over just high ground, but we also could even see it down to relatively low levels. So places like, uh, you know, Aberdeenshire, for example, we could see temperatures in excess of 16 degrees during the course of, uh, you know, between late morning and into the early afternoon on Wednesday um, across this region. But by the time we reach Friday, we could be talking about temperatures struggling to get out of uh, low single figures with snow falling. And it's just simply that uh, sudden shift in wind direction at this time of the year that can have a very significant influence. So you can see here the chart. This is by Thursday at 12 o'clock and you've got a, a fairly chilly northerly air flow and uh, there is some snow mixed in with that as well. But it's it's reasonably short-lived because we are going to see uh, a spell of high pressure building over the UK. That could 
in fact bring some noticeable chilly nights in particular especially if you've got snow in the ground over high ground but that will eventually get kicked out more low pressure comes in bringing more wind and rain so it's very transient and the reason for that <coughs> excuse me is of course because we've got the positive Arctic Oscillation, North Atlantic Oscillation, so there's nothing really kind of stuck. It's very mobile, it's very transient at the moment, and it's just, it's pretty much classic uh, for the time of the year overall. Uh, and finally, we'll have a look at the 850 millibar temperatures. You can see at this level nicely the, the abrupt ups and downs in temperatures. So we've got a modestly chill chilly regime over the course of this weekend. Then we've got the that system coming up from the southwest, pulls in some unusually warm air. Then on the back side of that we've got a, a short sharp burst of Arctic air that uh, brings the first real taste of uh, autumn cold to the British Isles. But the uh, might hang around with the chill for a wee while as the high pressure builds in, but eventually that will get kicked out once again by the next area of low pressure. Warm air comes north, then cold air comes south, and it's going to be basically their regime as we go forward. Interesting to see at the very end of the month, by the way, you can start to see uh, the possibility with high pressure building to the north over Scandinavia that we could in fact see uh, something more uh, substantial in terms of cold uh, as you can see at the very, very end of the loop, you notice here that high pressure is seen way up over the, the far Norwegian sea. And uh, you can see here the cold air coming in from the east, uh, which will be interesting to see whether it reaches the UK or not. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great weekend, uh, the rest of the weekend, and I'll be back in the next few days with more. Bye for now.